to set up tents over at the park. Um, and from what I understand, that's against city regulations. Any idea that that rule's gonna be bent for these guys? It, it won't, it won't, it won't change. Our position has been very clear and consistent from day one. We will not allow overnight camping in any of our downtown urban parks. That goes for anyone. If it's safety occupation. Absolutely, our, our downtown urban parks were not meant for overnight camping. You can go out into the rural parts of the county and do all the overnight camping you like, that's where it's allowed, but we don't allow it in our urban parks. We right. never have. Have you had a chance to look at the uh, proposal that they've asked? I have not. I have not. All right. They want to do the camping. They also want to set up a place for food preparation, the library, medical activities. They want to set up tables, essentially. Is, you know if that's allowed? No. No, we, we wouldn't allow that either. We, we've allowed the tables. We've allowed for them to distribute materials. Uh, we've been very, very consistent about the, the park hours, that they're able to sleep on the sidewalk during certain hours of the evening, but the parks, no overnight camping or the setting up of any makeshift campsites, makeshift campsites. It's been my observation the city's been rather accommodating and yeah. allowing them to, s to sleep on sidewalks mm -hmm. over there. Will that continue? I believe that will continue, absolutely, within, within the time frames established. And they, they've had a good working relationship with our police department, knowing what the rules are, and the rules have been consistent from day one. And we believe they have to be in order to avoid some of the issues that are being encountered in many cities across the country. Right. And one of the other things, they want to meet with the mayor on December 1st. It's my understanding he's going to Boston to be at the conference of mayor, so that's not going to happen either. That, that isn't going to happen. Do you know if the mayor would be willing to meet with these Occupy folks in the I, future? I have no idea. Okay, I, can, I, can, I, I can answer for the mayor, but you know, we're aware of what their demands are, we're, we're, we've been aware of what their requests have been, we've also been very firm in our, in our answers and our policies. Excellent. You say they um, have their postal address at Curtis Hickey Park, what do you think of that? Well, I, I find that quite interesting since it's a public city park, uh, and uh, I, I, it, it's, again, it's a, <laughs> I don't know how to even respond to that, it's a city park, it's not someone's mailing address. So it's, it's, that's rather unusual. They've said that they are going to set up tents regardless of whether or not there's uh, accommodations made for them. Um, what will your guys' course of action be if, if that happens? If, if they do that and, and they're aware that it's illegal to do that in our parks, then they're subject to arrest. If they set up those camps in the, in the parks, if they set up those tents in the park and insist on sleeping overnight in camps in the city's downtown parks, then they're subject to arrest because to they're what, trespassing during the non-operating uh, hours of the park. To what extent will you take enforcement of that? I mean, are we going to start seeing, you know, UC Davis type action? With, they are subject to arrest and, and, and police procedures if they're violating our city ordinances and our city policies because then uh, they're violating the law and, and we take that very, very seriously. I'm good. Thank you very much.